guys. Well, here we go. We got everything done. We just got the, the little dash officially hooked up. We've been working on the car all day. Is this what this is what we normally do, ain't it? Yep. Yep. We get to the track and I try to fix everything. All right, here we go. Let's make a pass. All right, ready? guys so that was not a bad pass i'm gonna show y'all the slip uh 139 60 foot 365 539 142 miles per hour uh, so, all right guys so the time was not too bad there goes the clickers in there so it worked out pretty good see all this erraticness up here uh this is traction control uh i increased the drive shaft speed but apparently i didn't increase it enough and it was pulling some timing and so it was trying to correct it so that's what caused this to be so erratic uh, up top it didn't make a ton of boost it made more boost than we made 39 but the main thing we were trying to check today was if this vacuum pump was going to work and keep up so this line right here is the vacuum pump and as you can tell it's got an upward uh chart here and so if you go over here and look i was hoping it was going to keep up we let go of trans brake it's at minus two it starts climbing before we start getting into a bunch of time and retards it's already at minus one psi shift the car at 7500 ish so 7404 rpm or so and it shifted and then the vacuum pump is like uh no we ain't we ain't going to participate in this madness now it is pulling timing so with it pulling timing out there of course it does make it uh kind of rattles the rings a little bit but we pull timing all the time all the time we pull time and went through the finish line let off right there we had three pounds of boost in the valve cover now the good thing is is this time yeah we didn't blow oil all out of the valve covers like last time last time it blowed oil out of valve covers but this time it did not and uh so we're going to take the vacuum pump off real fast and just run a natural beat.
All right, guys. Well, it's like we're at a club out here. Hopefully, I don't have to do a voiceover. <laughs> if there's a voiceover, you know why uh, there's a lot of music. Hopefully, it'll get drowned out. So this is what we're going to do for the time being. We just took this 90 that we had, and it's going over straight to here. If we need to wide or need to run another one, I've got the ability to do that from over here. We'll just have to do another uh, line back to the back, which is not a problem because my fuel cell, my overflow container has two ports. guys so we didn't change anything on that pass other than take the vacuum pump off uh, it slowed down a little bit to the 60 foot uh, we did let the timing control timing retard not work so I picked up a little bit of mile per hour i let off just a tad before the finish line because it kind of made a move you see it took off went up there um, i mean it's not too bad shifted i mean right on the stall this is oil pressure right here so it does lose a little bit See, we got a little bit of shakiness up there, but still same thing, 30 pounds of boost, but we noticed it was steaming a little bit, so we did take the vacuum cover off. So this line right there is the vacuum. Uh, I moved it. I was like, where did it go? Right there. So vacuum is there. So notice it still has an upward trend. So if you back out just a little bit, you can see that when we get going, now I was gonna change the oil before we got here, but I just couldn't, that's converter flash right there. So we're in zero. This thing should stay in zero the whole time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I made mean, seven pounds of vacuum. Seven pounds of vacuum. Technically, if it made seven pounds, that's not vacuum anymore, that's boost in the valve cover. So we got a couple options. Uh, the thing is rich. I mean, I've got it. I've got it. Maybe it, maybe that's my problem is I'm just too rich and it's rattling the rings. I may, the rings may be completely toast. I mean, if you look down track here, I mean, we are three, five air fuel ratio with 23 degrees of timing. Uh, so maybe that's part of the problem. Uh, so the vacuum pump, if it only made three before, I mean, the vacuum pump was, it was sucking out four pounds of boost. Sucking out half of it. So maybe the vacuum pump is what we need to stay on there. We need to figure out how to get the rings sealed a little bit tighter. Um, I mean, there wasn't, it steamed when we were first going. It was, how bad was it choo-chooing when I pulled back up? It was pretty good. Was it choo-chooing a lot? 
Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so we'll crank it up in a minute and load it in a trailer and we'll record it and see how much it's choo chewing. Um, which I mean, I didn't get to change the oil, so we know we got methanol in the oil. So, you know, potentially part of the problem is, is we've got, I mean, the oil vaporizing, right? I mean, right. does that make sense? Yeah. When you're starting to get some dew out here too, you can see your breath. So, I mean, the moisture's out here. So maybe they, shouldn't, they still shouldn't have seven pounds of freaking boost pressure. We're going to need like two inch lines off of each valve cover to reduce that. You know, something else we could possibly do is just have the valve cover put it back the way we had it but instead of having this cap trying to capture you know all the no i don't know if that's a good idea or not Shoot, i don't know i don't know what I don't... another hole put two, two big inch and a quarters <laughs> yeah that, that would work uh so i don't know we got we got work to do i mean all of my motors have always kind of steamed a little bit and I think a lot of it is because of just how rich it runs because of those injectors. I'm, I have a hard time getting those injectors to lean out, so it contaminates my oil pretty bad. Well, and I need some new injectors. yeah, I mean maybe I need to get some precisions. I mean, I, I mean not precision, some billet atomizers. But I don't know. Okay, well, good outing. It was fun. We uh, so so now we don't we still don't know, do we? <laughs> Now we don't know. We're in the same place we're starting. We're in the exact same <laughs> boat. But, well, actually, well, I don't know. Vacuum pump may be for sale. It may not be for sale. We got some uh, some thinking to do. Uh, Mike, number 216 lines all the way back here to the back. Well, I didn't have the vacuum. Well, when I didn't have the vacuum pump on it, when we were at MPK with the old motor, remember how much it was steaming out the, out the front? Yeah. Yeah, it was steaming off the filter the filter right because yeah, i had it up front do what people were commenting on how much steam was coming out of the filter yeah i mean it is i mean it's maybe i need to change the oil every race switch to like <laughs> rotella switch to rotella <laughs> yes that's what it'll be if i have to change the oil every race it's gonna be rotella super guard or whatever the walmart stuff yeah it ain't it ain't gonna be no yeah it probably would be walmart super super tech, super tech. 20 w50 <laughs> I mean, right? I'm running the tractor. <laughs> so, I don't know, guys. We got some work to do. Uh, good day at the track. Uh, see the crowd got here. There was a bunch of people. I might have to do a bunch of voiceovers because there was a lot of loud music close to us. So, I don't know how, how it's going to come over in the video. But, all right, guys. Brandon and Randy, I appreciate y'all coming out and helping. Uh, we will we'll see y'all next time. I don't know. Later. Comment, like, and subscribe.